everybody, welcome back to the Jake's Fever Fun YouTube channel. And yes, guys, there we are back with a video on the channel. I haven't really done a long video for a while, be honest. It's not going to be a long, long one, but here we go. So today I am doing my top them ratings for FIFA 23. I know it's early, really early, April, but we're coming to the end of the season now, and I think it's time to decide the players who have had a very good season and who've had a poor one. I think the squad, um, a lot of bit's going to be changing, I feel like, as we've had an up and down season at the same time. Uh, the first half of the season was dreadful. A second half of the season has been as bright as the moon. Amazing. But yeah, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Remember to smash that like and subscribe button to the channel. And yeah, let's get into this one. So, starting off with our main goalkeeper, Hugo Lloris. He was, he's 87 this year in FIFA. For next year, I've gone with 88. I think he's had a good year. I think he deserves a plus one. I think he deserves to stay around the 87, 88 mark. Um, I think that I think he's had a decent season, to be honest. And I think he should get a plus one, even if he's getting on a bit now. But yeah, moving on. Moving on to a player that I hate, to be honest. I don't really like him in the club. Emerson Royale. I don't really think he's that great. And being honest, he was 79 rated this year. I think next year he's going to be 78 rated. I think he's going to go down one. I think he's not really done a lot for us since he's come to the club in the last summer. And I think this summer he could be even heading at the club to Atletico Madrid. But he says he's happy at the club even with a lack of game time. So I think he'll get a, um, a down down one because I just think he's been a bit, bit, mm, bit off it. But yeah, moving on. So now we're on to someone who's had a great, who had a poor first half, great second half. Matt Doherty, I think he's had a great second half of the season, getting goal contributions here and then. I don't know what this is. Here and then, guys, and being honest with you, I think, um, hmm, I think this year he was, I think, 78 rated. I think he's going to go up to 80 rated. I think he's going to go up two, I feel like. I think he deserves to be in that 80 mark around there. Even if he, I think, I, I think he might get like plus four. I think he might just get plus two, but because obviously it's only his second half that he's really performed in. But I do think he's been an absolute gem for us in his second half season, sliding into that right back spot with the full backs both being Re um, Sergio Reguilon and um, Matt Doherty. So yeah, I think, I think he'll get plus two. Moving on to man who I just said, Sergio Reguilon. I think he was 81 the year we just had. This next next year, I think he's going to be 82 rated. I think he's had a good season. I think he'll get a plus one, I feel like. I think he deserves it, being honest. Even if he's been injured uh, about three times this season, I think every time he's played, I think he's performed and never really let us down in positions. So I do think Regulon will get a plus one. I think he deserves it as well. So, yeah. Moving on to Cristian Romero, one of, my, one of the best players we've had this season. He has to be, I've put either two ratings for him. I think he should be either 84 or 85 rated. I think he's so good of a centre-back. If we didn't have him, our defence would be awful. I feel like we would have conceded so many more goals. He's such a solid player there, gets the tackles in, and he really makes our defence look one of the best defences in the league, obviously. So I think he deserves to get, I think, what was he this year? The year, we, the year we've just had, I think he was 82 rated. So I think he should get a plus two, plus three. Being honest, I think he's had a good season. So moving on to Ben Davies. Um, it, by the way, before we move on to Ben Davies, I think Christian Romero as well. He's had injuries. He had a long, he had about a three month injury, but I think since since then he's come back and been amazing. But yeah, moving now, moving on to Ben Davies. I think Ben Davies. He was 79 rated the year we were having, obviously. And uh, next year, next FIFA, I think he'll be plus one, 80 rated, I think. Davies has had a good season at, at, at centre-back. I think he slipped up a couple of times, so I don't think he should... Look, it's tight, because does he stay the same? Does he not? But I think he should go up by one, guys. I think he's had a, gr I think he's had a great season since um, Conte's come in. But yeah, um, moving on to Davinson Sanchez. Signed this man five years ago now. This season, he's this since since Conte's coming. I don't think Conte trusts him as centre back, um, and I think he was seventy nine rated the year we've just had. I think he's going to be seventy nine rated again. I just I don't think he'll go down. Don't think he'll go up. I think he'll stay the same. Seventy nine rated for Davison Sanchez, even if he was he played in the 
first half of the season. I don't think he's pushing and getting and trying to push for that first team spot because he just maybe not even showing it in training. So I don't know. I just think David Sanchez will stay the same at 79 rated. Moving on to Joe Rodon. Um, I think I don't, I don't actually think he's played a game under Conte, guys. I'm not joking. I'm not joking with you. I don't think Joe Rodon has played a single game under Conte. He was 72 rated a year we just had. I think he's going to go down one to 71 rated. I think he has barely had any games this season. He wants to leave the club. I think, in my opinion, he should go to like a Burnley, a Norwich, a Fulham, one of them. That is where he will get first team playing time. And I just don't think, I don't think he's ever going to slot into this team for a while. I think it's going to be another two seasons. But I wouldn't want to sell him. I would like to loan him out. So Joe Rodon will go down one, I think. But I hope, I just, I like Joe Rodon. I think he does deserve, I think he's better than Davison Sanchez, in my opinion. But yeah. Moving on to someone who's out for the rest of the season, will not be playing for Tottenham again this season, Jafet Tanganga. I think he was 73 rated the year we've just had. Next year, I think he's gone up to 76 rated. He has had a great season again. I think he is better than Danison Sanchez. Danison Sanchez, is, I don't like him as a centre back, to be honest. I don't think he's that great. Tanganga, I think, is a strong centre back. Against Man City, he bossed Greenish and Sterling at the first game of the season. To be honest, that's. That was the only proper um, proper time he got. Under Nuno, he got played before our form went all, all dismal, abysmal, I mean, uh, for the first half. Since, uh, and then, obviously, Nuno got sacked following. But, yeah, I think Javi Tangang has had a good season. Since Obviously, now he's out for the rest of the season because of his knee surgery. Um, but, yeah. Moving on to um, Ryan Sessegnon. I think he was 74 rated the year we just had, the year we're having. Um, next season, I think he's going to be 75 rated. He's played a lot since um, Reggie Long's been out. I don't think he's been that bad, being honest. But I don't think he's going to get a plus three or nothing. I think he'll just get a plus one, 75 rated. Slowly times, obviously. Still young, but I think he needs to start performing a little bit more soon to try and fight himself into that first team spot at that left back position. But to be honest, we don't really play left back anymore. We play left mid. Regular on Dorothy, I like left mid, right mid now, I'm being honest, and I think they play better there. But moving on to Harry Winks. He was 77 rated the year we're having. I think he's going to be 77 rated again. I just don't think he's good enough. Conte doesn't play him. He doesn't get subbed on. Harry, I tell you guys here, Harry Winks is not good enough. He's not good enough for the team, you know. He's not good enough. I think, I have to say, but I think it's time for Winks to end his time at Tottenham. I know he's come through the academy, he's loved it here. But like I just don't think he's he's good enough. I just don't think he'll get into that team with our midfielders now. They're so strong and I just don't think he's good enough. He's falling down in ranks. And yeah. Moving on to um Pierre Emil Huisberg. He was eighty three the year we're having. Oh I think. I think. 82 or 83, I can't remember, but I think he'll go up to 84, guys. I think he'll be an 84 rated the year we're coming in, obviously. Because I think he's had a good season. He's, I know he's had a couple of mistakes here and there, and he didn't really play at the start of the season because of Oliver Skip, who we're moving on to next in a minute. But Pierre and Hoiberg, I think, since obviously Skip's been out for about four months now, I think Hoiberg has really performed in that time. So, yeah, moving on to a man we just mentioned, Oliver Skip. I think I think this the year we just had he was seventy five rated I think I think he'll go up to seventy seven rated where he's been injured I don't think he'll go up plus four five I think he'll only go up plus two but it's early days obviously early doors he's still young he has time to grow seventy seven rated I think is the perfect rating for him and yeah moving on to um a January signing for us Rodrigo Rodrigo Bentancur. He was 78 rated, I think, was, I think, the year we're having. Obviously, the start was at Juventus. He came to us on a, on a permanent transfer. I think he's going to be 81 rated. I think he never mistakes a pass when he's playing. But, and I think he is an absolute genius on the ball. He knows what to do. Kulusevski and him link up so well. Kulusevski will be in later in this video, obviously. But, yeah. Moving on to a lonely who we signed at the start of the season, but loaned him back to um, 
Mets, guys. Uh, um, FC Mets. So I think that um, he might. Uh, yeah, he, I, I think he might be full. Maybe when he come when he's coming to us next season, he will be he will be a top player next season. So I'm excited for that one. Pape Matasar, his name is. So I think I think he was 68 rated the year we just had. I think he'll go up to 73 rated. I've heard he was a very good year at Mets in France, obviously. I think they're in the I think the Liga Two in France, the Division Two in France. But I think I've heard he's really good. So I think he should go up to about 73 rated. Moving on to someone who's out on loan. Our next two players are out on loan. Well, we've just had a loan, obviously. Giovanni Lo Celso at Villarreal right now. I think he's a, he was 81 rated the year we just had. I think he's been uh, he's just not clicked this season. I don't think he's really had the opportunity. So I do think he'll go down by two to a 79 rated. I think he should be around that mark. I just don't know if he's good enough, to be honest. So I think he should be 79 rated. Moving on to Tangai Ndombele. He was 82 rated the year we're just having. I think he's going to go down by two. He's out on loan at his um, club we bought him from, Leon, right now. So I think he'll be an 80 rated next year. Being honest, I think he, I think he should be round to that mark. Uh, I just don't think he's clicking. Um, he scored a goal against our London rivals West Ham. So that's a good thing, but I don't know if he'll come back and be good enough. Should Conte sell him and the sell so if we don't know. Moving on to our attackers now, Lucas Moura. He was 81 rated a year we're just having. I think he's going to go down by one to 80 rated. I just don't think he's been good enough this year. And I do think he'll go down by one. He's only got a couple. I think he's got that banger against um, Norwich. But I do think, I think he's only got like five goal contributions this season. Like five goals and like six assists. Not really great for Moura as a player of his talent. So I think he should go down by one. And moving on to Steven Bergvijn. Um, he was 80 rated the year we're having. I think he should go up to 82 rated. I think he's had a good year. He's saved us in the last minutes and saved us against Leicester with two goals in the 95th and 97th minute to win us a game. That was so important for us. He scored a, go he scored a 90, 93rd minute equaliser against Southampton that did get ruled out. That could have got us a draw against them. We lost that game 3-2. But he stepped up on occasions he needs to. He scored a goal against Newcastle recently. He's got not a lot of goal contribution, but I think he's had a good season because he doesn't really get a lot of game time. So, yeah. Moving on to Brian Hill. He's out on loan right now at um, Valencia. We loaned him out. He has a future stars card in FIFA this year. I think, I think it's 89 rated, so that's quite good. But he was 72 rated, I think, when he... Join us in the summer, like this the year we've just had. Um, I think he's going to go up to 75 rated. I think he's had a decent year coming on. He come on in the North London derby, which he's had lost 3-1. And the, the next North, North London derby coming up just over in a, just over a month time. So um, I think he should be about 75 rated. I think he should be around that mark. I think he's got talent. If he comes back next season and gets the game time he needs, then I think we could be a force with him. And then next, our one, another summer signing, Dejan Kulusevski. He was, I think, 80, 80 rated, I think, for FIFA 22. I think FIFA 23 is going to be 83 rated. I think he deserves to be around that mark. He just scored a goal against Aston Villa. He's got three Premier League goals and six assists since joining us. In two months, he's done that. Nine goal contributions. And we've only played about eight, nine matches since January. So it is amazing for him, I feel like. He has been such a good player. He's made us a force well. So I think he deserves to be A3 rated. And I'm moving on to the two big boys at the club. Hyun Min Song first. He was 80, he's 89 rated right now. I think he should go up to a 90 rated Hyun Min Song. 17 goals in the league right now. Three off the, the leader, Mo Salah. More goals. The, uh, more goals than his um, best teammate, the best, the two best, Son and Kane, who are moving on to in a minute. Son, I think ninety rated. I think he deserves it. What he, he deserves to go up. He's had one of his best seasons. Already tied his goals for last season, which that was his most season. And I think he'll break that again. Being honest, he's such a good player. He's getting older, and he's just getting better every season. I feel like he's such a good player. He's got. I think he's got, yeah, 17 goals and five assists this season. What a player I think he is. He's, I think he's the best left winger in the Premier League, not being biased. But, yeah, that's your new song for you. 
And moving on to the main man who I sometimes think should be our captain, Harry Kane. He was he's 90 rated right, right now. I think he should stay 90 rated. I think he's had a good season. 12 goals and I think eight assists. Obviously, them assists are mostly to Shin Ming Song. But um yeah, um, I think they should be the same rated. They both had a good season. Son has had a better season, I'll say, because Kane started off so slow for the first four months of the season. And then he had a great second half under Conte. Conte's changed mostly 90% of our players. And I think and Kane should stay like that. But there you go, guys. Um, that's our rate. That's my rating predictions for FIFA 23 of the Tottenham Hotspur players. Hope you all have enjoyed. Smash that like and subscribe button to the channel. And we will see you soon. See you guys.